Fantastic Four Ties That Bind, Part 5, and the last part. So, it's exiting for a mission. If you've gotten the impression that the Fantastic Four is just a pulp paper soap opera, think again. Stan Lee and Jack Kirby were masters of injecting realism of family life into the stories. But against that down-to-earth backdrop, the writer and artist created Epic Avengers. When the Fantastic Four signal flare blazed in the sky, members of this family rallied to action. Fantastic Four have never been self-absorbed. They can't afford to be. They have a mission that matters more than their personal lives. Their collective job is saving the world. And that they do. They save the world from invaders, space invaders, undersea invaders, subterranean invaders. They save the world from Galactus and assorted cosmic menaces. They save the world from Dr. Doom and Nihilus and the Psycho Man. In short, the Fantastic Four exist for a mission. Oh, that's, this was a, this sort. The title of this section is "Existing for a Mission." <laughs> My bad. For the in short, the Fantastic Four exist for a mission. They can never forget it. The Church has a mission too. We mistake the meaning of church. If we think it exists only for the sake of its me own members. In fact, the church has often an, an important task, reaching well beyond its own comfort and safety. Of course, the church on its own can't save anybody. The church is like a lighthouse whose beacon points the way to safe harbor. The church has no light except the light of Christ shining through us in the dark world. That is our mission, to shine with the light of our Lord and by that light to invite others to share the grace that has saved us. Outsiders have criticized the church for six, for, uh, outsiders have criticized the church for fixating on internal debates and annual budgets and building programs while ignoring the needs of the lost and hurting people next door. Perhaps this is one of the reasons why so many people are indifferent to the church. What if the Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four never left the Baxter building? Who would keep reading if the mission was of the team consisted of nothing more than maintenance, laundry, house cleaning, mail preparation, and occasionally remodeling. Even the staunchest fan would lose interest if Reed, Sue, and Ben Reed, Sue, Ben, and Johnny did nothing but take care of one another. When the household of Christ is ingrown and self-focused, the church forsakes its purpose. After all, the crew of the lighthouse doesn't maintain the light for their own pleasure. They keep the light shining for their they keep the light shining for the sake of people in danger. The church nurtures its members, empowers their gifts, and encourages growth so they'll be ready for the great mission. That's why Jesus founded the church. After all, the fate of the world hangs in the balance. Belonging to a family is a precious gift. Every one of us is searching for a family that will love us as we are, help us grow into our best selves, and challenge us to make a difference in the world. The Fantastic Four are one such family. The church is another. Admittedly, the Fantastic Four have better uniforms and cooler gadgets than the church, but baptism is so much easier than exposure to cosmic radiation. Uh, uh, that is the end for now. Well, the end of Fantastic Four that ties mine. Next, we start chapter 12. Chapter 12. Yeah, that was chapter 11. Wow. The Punisher versus Green Arrow. 
And we're not talking like Arrow. We're talking Green Arrow. We're not talking like Arrow and Green Arrow from the Arrowverse TV show. We're talking comic book Green Arrow. The two are nothing alike. So, be here. Yes, actually, more. It's Punisher versus Green Arrow. What is God like? That is the chapter of the next installment. So, be here for it. Bye for now. God bless. Remember to like, hit the subscribe button, and notification, comment, and share. And make sure you are still subscribed. Bye for now. God bless.